Oke. Okay. We return to William Wallace. This time to train some troops. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, or bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers. Looks like we're gonna have the ultimate objective of training for militia. Uh, looks like we're gonna be encouraged to explore the map, to locate extra resources, and to find out what enemies are doing. Ooh, we're gonna fight this time, maybe? We, should probably we will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center, then click the Create Villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. So we're making a villager. It takes time for a villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can see the progress in the status area at the bottom of your screen. And you can also task them right away by right-clicking where you want them to go. Good job! The villager has appeared next to your town center. Now, create another village. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a villager. Airlock. Click the buildings button, click the build house button, then click where you want to build the house. If more than one villager builds a building, it will go up faster. Boonage. Also food is generally the most important. Good job! Try building another house. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current supportable population. Other buildings are made just like houses. Kid? Try building a barracks. The barracks is a military building. So we'll be clicking this button instead. And this here is a barracks. <sighs> and I'll just stick it right Rob here. Yeah. Most gold piles start off with 800. You can see how much has been taken. Those trees start off with 100 wood. And you can see how much has been taken there. Those berry bushes start off with 125 food. And you can see how much has been taken there. And you can see how fast I'm building this building. Barracks complete! Now you can create soldiers. Click the barracks, then click the Create Militia button. Selecting different buildings or units gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen. So I'm gonna set a gather point right here, which is just done by right clicking. And I'm gonna yeah. set That's one options. militia unit. Create three more, and you'll have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario. Click the barracks, and quickly click the Create Militia button three more times to make three soldiers in a row. One, two, three. Now, let's see, let's have this villager get some Beat gold. Fear. Third 
Now that you have a few soldiers, you'll be able to defend this area against English attacks. So we've completed that objective. We'll give it a second. I guess. Again. Why are we in the desert? Why are we in a ring of trees in the desert? Pretty sure there's no desert in Scotland. But at least they got rid of the trees over here. So. Eh? Well, closing remarks, William. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But facing Longshank's army will be another matter. The wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. So, we've learned how to march and fight, how to feed the army, how to train troops, and next we'll be learning how to research and technology. But I still want to know why were we in the woods in the middle of the desert? I'm pretty sure that is not a thing in Scotland. But I guess it is in this game. See you next time.